What is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger for you guys. Now, I ain't even gonna cap, you know what I'm saying? And this video right here is not, um, not a positive one. I'm gonna keep it a stack. As you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail, I hate this freaking clutch, bro. Honestly, I, I can't stand it. Um, right now, we're on our way to a disclosed location where I can go ahead and give you guys some uh, exterior sound clips so you guys can hear what I'm talking about. But basically, the car, the, the clutch that I got, if you guys don't know, you haven't been in the loop with all the videos, I have a stage four twin disc x ready next ready whatever you guys call however you pronounce that company name i have no idea but i have the stage four twin disc clutch and i can't even lie i did read the reviews i read the comments and everything like that and people were saying that it's a chatty a chattery clutch you know what i'm saying that the clutch makes a lot of noise and so i was really you know expecting it but i wasn't expecting it to be this bad you know what i'm saying like if you guys are like me, then you hate any extra noise, you know what I'm saying? Any extra sound that the car makes and it's not supposed to make that noise will definitely bother you. That's how I am. I can't I can't stand extra noises. It makes me a little paranoid. It takes me back to the days in the hoopty where, you know what I'm saying, uh, extra noise meant something was breaking, which meant going back to the shop and, you know what I'm saying, trying to scrape together some pennies to take care of whatever the hell was wrong with the car you feel me now with that being said you can literally hear this noise in cabin out of cabin it's 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 ridiculous um and i've made a couple of videos talking about it um in my last uh review video i think i did a, like a quick review of the clutch after i broke it in currently right now we have 3446 miles on this clutch so the clutch is completely broken in um you know what i'm saying this is the best that it's gonna get there's no there's no oh you know i do some more braking miles and hopefully the noise goes away nah this noise is sadly and most definitely unfortunately here to stay and i i can't even lie to y'all bro i hate it i'm i'm just gonna keep it a buck so basically what happens is like every other revolution of the cam the the car will start to like chatter like legitimately chatter uh with the rpm so even if i rev it up a little bit you know, think that it'll shut it down or it'll stop doing it. No, bro, it just increases with the revs. And no, it's not a lifter or none of that extra goofy shit because legit, when I depress the clutch, it stops, you know what I'm saying? And then like, that's that's the even crazier thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? I can depress the clutch right now and it would stop. And after I take the clutch out, it would still, you know what I'm saying? It would still be stopped. It wouldn't make any noise. So with that being said, it's definitely something to do with the clutch. Now, the part that really sucks about this is simply the only fix for this, um, if I'm not mistaken, is replacing the clutch. Now, with that being said, I was told, you know what I'm saying, oh, just get the McLeod RXT or RST, but the issue with that is a lot of people were telling me that those clutches don't last that long and they don't have warranties. Now, this clutch has a warranty. All the more reason why I bought it. You know what I'm saying? Got my boy Versatile Speed right there. You know what I'm saying? We just got off of work. Got my boy right there chopping away. But anyway, yeah. That was the whole reason why I bought this clutch because it came with a warranty. But now I see why it came with a warranty because they knew that this joint was basically trash. I can't even lie. Like, I would honestly take the stock clutch over this clutch. No cap. Now, don't get me wrong. As you guys have seen in multiple videos, you know what I'm saying? This clutch definitely does grab. It definitely does, you know what I'm saying? I don't miss any gears or whatever with this clutch. Um, and so, it's hella smooth. Don't get me wrong. But it's just, damn, bro. Like, 
why you gotta make noise? <laughs> like, you feel me? And it's like, it, it, it makes it even worse because it's not consistent. It does it whenever it wants to do it. So it's like, it's not even like I can, you know what I'm saying, sit here and duplicate the sound or make it do, you know what I'm saying, make it make the noise. I can't. I'm just, I'm stuck with, you know, pull up to a car meet and then, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's looking at the car and all of a sudden, chatter, 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 chatter. You feel me? It's annoying, bro. Like, I really, I can't stand it. And so, like, sometimes I'll pull up in the morning to work and my boy back to the money would be like, hey, J.I., what that noise is? Or why your car making that noise? Or what's that sound? You know what I'm saying? And all I can say is, man, look, bro, it's, it's the clutch, all right? It's clutch chatter. You know what I'm saying? And that sucks. Like, honestly, for a clutch to be this expensive, I think it was a couple grand, bro. It should not have, like, you know what I'm saying? You should not have this issue. Just keeping it a stack, bro. I just, I feel like, I feel like that's bad cap. Now, with that being said, am I going to be looking to replacing the clutch? Yes. Am I going to be doing that, like, right now? I don't think so, man. I'm going to just keep it a stack with y'all. I don't know. I, I really, I don't know. Like, I feel like I should, but then it's just like, you just got it. I don't think I can return this joint, you know what I'm saying? I know it has a warranty, but I don't think they have a return policy. So it's like, what the hell, you feel me? So look, I'm gonna go ahead, God damn, boy. Fucking Honda damn near smack my shit. Like, come on, bro. I was finna give y'all just like a quick baby pull, you feel me? And that goofball damn near smack my shit trying to turn, that don't make no sense. How is it two turning lanes and you're getting out of your lane into my lane and we're both turning? I'm so I'm so baffled by that. That makes no sense to me. But it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, okay, peak game. Downshift. Smooth as butter. Like, it's smooth, don't get me wrong. It definitely does do its job. It's just I can so much live without it you feel me that clutch chatter i could definitely live without it bro because i can't stand that i really can't like it's it's one of my biggest pet peeves bro like if a, like i said in the beginning of the video if a car makes a noise that it's not supposed to make i can't i can't deal with it bro y'all let me know down in the comment section down below if you guys are the same way i know i'm not the only one i can't be the only one who hates extra noises coming out of the car bro like just keeping it a band keeping it a stack with y'all like i can't i i legitimately cannot stand it it is so fucking frustrating to me because it's like bro the car is basically a brand new car bro it only has fifty one thousand miles on it um and about i'll put about maybe five or six k on it and <sighs> bro it's like I, I can't even lie to y'all bro it's been killing me on the inside and what's crazy is I was hearing the noise during during the break-in period I was hearing the noise um, and I read the comments um, not the comments but the reviews um, you know what I'm saying on American Muscle and everybody was saying that you know it has clutch chatter but during break-in excessive clutch chatter so i was thinking oh that's just the excessive clutch chatter coming from the break-in but no bro it's already broken in as y'all can see it works perfectly it works perfectly fucking fine like it does its job bro it just makes so much noise for no freaking reason bro like i hate it so much i really do is that coming from my exhaust Like I hear like a like a ticking. I think that's coming from the exhaust. I think something's rattling down there. I'll probably have to get the car back up in the air um, at work tomorrow and see. But like I hear like a ticking coming from the exhaust. That's that beat up car over there. That's that wasn't mine. It's like it's like a faint ticking, bro, coming from what the fuck? That's a completely different noise than the noise that I was making this video about. It's not even doing the clutch chatter right now, which is upsetting. Like Reaper's looking so good, it's just making these idiotic ass noises. What the 
freak. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to limit my cussing, y'all. So excuse me. I know I've said that in earlier videos a while back. If you've been a part of the Ji Squad for a minute, then you guys would already know. You know what I'm saying what I'm talking about. But I've been trying to cut back on my cussing because monetization uh, purposes and just you know trying to reach out with different companies and work with different companies and whatnot. But bro, what the hell? Usually by now it would have started doing it. And it's not doing it. It's probably because the camera's out right now. Luckily, I do have a clip from sitting in the car at Idle after um, coming home of it doing it. So I'll go ahead and insert that All now. Right, y'all, so you can kind of hear it now. See, I told y'all I wasn't cap. I just got to the house. I had a feeling that it was going to do it when I got to the house to turn the camera off. That's the noise that I'm talking about, bro. So if you're thinking about getting the next Gretty Stage 4 Twin Disc Clutch, bro, think again. Don't don't even do it, bro. Just don't do it because you're going to run into crap like that. You feel me? Why is it not doing it right now? You feel me? When I wanted to do it, it doesn't want to do it. Like... <sighs> But can we just take a second to admire this rear end, though, y'all? Like, bro, what? That joint looks superb, man. It's missing a couple things, you feel me? Tail lights, third, uh, well, reverse light slash third brake light. The reflectors got to go, and then the side markers. I really wanted to do it, bro. The one time I wanted to do it, it doesn't want to do it. I don't understand. Other than this... Other than this issue that I'm telling you guys about right now, the car is literally perfect. Literally. It drives perfect, smooth as can be, even when it makes the noise. Like I say, if I, uh, you know, decompress the clutch, no noise at all. But only at idle, free spinning or whatever from the clutch um, and the flywheel, then you'll hear the chatter. But right now, nothing. That's so weird, bro. What the hell? Ah, oh, I'm so mad, bro. It won't do it. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. Well, I'm not going to waste, you know what I'm saying, this perfect little scenery at the lows. I'm finna hit y'all with some B-roll real quick. Honestly, y'all, I have no idea why it's not doing it. But as you guys saw from that short clip that I went ahead and inserted, it definitely does make noise. You feel me? Ugh, I don't understand, bro. I'm so mad that it's not doing it. But without further ado, bro, that's probably going to be it for this video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. We are on the road to 3K subscribers. And remember, 1120. 2021 i am dropping the reaper merch drop the merch line whatever you guys want to call it on the official underscore byl dot shop instagram page make sure you guys go tap in we still have the mamba hoodies available we still have the ji squad uh logos available whatever you guys want just make sure you tap in with the kid on the instagram let me know your size whatever you're trying to get what color we can get it to you give us about two weeks and we'll get it done for y'all but without further ado that's going to go ahead and wrap up today's video if you're new like i said smash that subscribe button bro we're on the road to 3k and we're so freaking close bro so go ahead hit that subscribe button maybe i'll throw in another giveaway who knows maybe i'll throw you know what i got you once we hit 3k i'll go ahead and throw in a nice little giveaway it's not gonna be cash this time it'll be something different maybe a camera maybe a gopro maybe some merch i don't know but go ahead and smash that subscribe button right now and turn on those post notifications like i say that's gonna wrap it up for this one i'll see y'all in the next one peace